This morning, I left the hostel, uh, started heading towards the hostel not now. I stopped by this uh, restaurant called uh, Lisa Loma. I, had, I got a burger, and it was like mostly. Like, it almost seemed like it was a joke. They, they gave me like it was a like a salad that was like two pieces of lettuce and half, or two halves of tomatoes, um, and then uh, like three French fries, and then the burger was kind of simple. Um, it was good, but uh, I think it was like Australian beef for the burger or something like that, which I never had. had kind of like a, a gaminess to it, or a little bit of like a metallic flavor. Um, they didn't ask how I wanted it cooked, so it was like, well done, and I usually have, like, rare, medium rare, so it was a little awkward with that. It was, uh, very messy, and here, or, there's another country where you're not supposed to just, like, lick your fingers, which is a ha hard habit to break from living in, uh, Texas. And then, uh, made my way further along the road until I got to the area of the hostel. Killed a little bit of time because I was like half an hour early, so I wandered around some of the side streets, hung out in the kind of lounge area for a little bit, just to catch my breath. I didn't uh, get a chance to take a shower this morning because um, the hostel bathroom was kind of busy. Took a quick shower. The um, bathroom here is a little weird. Like each room has its own bathroom, which is nice, um, and it's like an actual bathroom. Um, but it's a little awkward though because you're taking, you're occupying a a toilet and a shower at the same time. And uh, I didn't realize that there was a shelf higher up with the shower that I could put my bag on, so my bag got a little wet. I had it like sitting on the toilet, so I wish I had realized it was just the shelf earlier. I headed up, basically I walked to uh, the Terminal 21 area. Um, so I walked around this uh, park, there's like a lake, and um, uh, got a couple good views of the skyscrapers. And then halfway across the lake, there was a kind of a meditation area. There's like a golden statue of, I think it's one of the Buddhas and his disciples. Went to this restaurant called the uh, Condoms and Cabbages. I made a bad choice. Um, the restaurant itself is fine. The staff is fine. I just I I'm always trying to find like the cheapest thing on the menu. I don't even remember what I got. It was like stir fried morning glories or something. It was some kind of flour. Um, there was no petals, but it was like just leaves and stems. They tasted fine, and there was some garlic and chili in there, but like it was just really tough. And like I had a little bit of rice with it, but it was just that's like it was the most like monotonous meal. So after dinner, um, instead of giving me mints, they uh, gave me a pair of condoms, which was fitting, but awkward. But the uh, restaurant itself was interesting. Um, they had like a whole courtyard area, which they offered to let me sit out in, but I, I needed air conditioning, so I stayed inside. And they had uh, some sculptures made up, not totally made up of like, but uh, covered and decorated with uh, condoms of different colors. And then there were these uh, uh, cutouts, so like stick your head in, so wandering back. And uh, my map is actually more active than I was giving credit for, but uh, it kind of led me to a dead end, but then actually it marked that there was a gate there that closed at that time, so I was impressed that they denoted that. Um, but so I had to backtrack a little bit. When I hit the dead end, I, there was a cat that was chasing a cockroach. I 
ended up kind of helping it. <laughs> so like I basically killed a cockroach for this cat. So for 7-Eleven, got a, got a rice ball just because all that I had for dinner was plants. So I've had these, this isn't really like a taste test because I've had this a lot. But uh, you know, if you're ever curious about how rice balls work, at least this brand, you, they have it marked on like steps. So you just pull that. And it's kind of, these things have gotten me through a lot of days. Not just here, but um, back when I was a uh, I moved to San Francisco in like 2011. Um, I was going there from Reno like once a week. And uh, I would basically be there like Wednesday morning through like three AM or whatever. Um, basically just getting through the day. Because I was going all the time, I had to be really um, frugal with my food. So I'd like get like chicken nuggets and like chicken wings and stuff like that. And like chicken nuggets and chicken wings and 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 chicken nuggets I've just been talking for like eight minutes. Uh, I didn't realize that I didn't hit record. Uh, this uh, hostel is only like I think seven dollars or nine dollars with tax, but it's a uh, more uh, bare bones than the, than the others. Where I'm staying tomorrow, it'll probably be a hotel. Like I'm in an area where it's possible to get decent deals, although some of the reviews have me worried. So I guess that's it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, for tomorrow. That's freaking me out. <laughs>